this is the training section of bus settings how to put your doors in your design in your building just like this background this is a, a five bedroom residential building so what is left for me to do actually in this design is um, or rather one of the things left for me to do in this design is to put my doors to fix my doors in the right in the right place in the right position and then in the right direction so this is what i'll be showing you guys how to fix your doors how to apply the basic settings and how to fix your doors so this is where the door are located in archicad so you double click on your door and then the door default settings comes out so this is the door default settings titled over here so in these settings we actually have various types of doors we have beginning from here empty doors opening we have garage doors with different types we have hinge doors which are divided into arch top hinge doors flat top hinge doors we have rotating doors and sliding doors which are also divided into various types which are arch sliding doors and flat top sliding doors as well we also have sliding folding doors as well so and top front doors so these are actually the types of doors or the collections of doors that comes with your archicad and notice that this particular settings also work for all versions of archicad either you're using a newer version or an older version they all work for all versions of archicad so we'll be looking at the particular door that will actually fit in our design particular that will fit in this design and a lot of things which you consider is will not put a commercial door or a rather a, a, a door meant for a commercial purpose into our design so every door we'll be using here will be based on residential 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 likewise the windows likewise everything that has to do with this design so we we'll actually consider those like flat top hinge doors so those that are actually in this design and that can also work for residential apartment so in my design i have bedrooms which will actually have a door of about 900 by 2100 millimeters i have um, an entrance i have an entrance door over here which you have a dimension of about 1.12 or 1.5 width and about 2.12 height and then um, also some special point that might also have different doors like the toilet which you have a smaller width and then um, some other settings so right now i want to fix my doors and as well do, do the basic setting i double click or i click at this point so the door default settings will pop out so i'm going with this door system for my bedroom and um, for my bedroom doors my kitchen doors and also my toilet doors so first of all i'll click over here at this right angle is the width of the door so 900 width is okay for my bedrooms and as well my kitchen 2100 height is okay are very perfect so these particular settings are perfect and very well good over here you can and over here is telling us um, the the starting point of our door you no know, you know, doors are fixed on on walls doors are fixed on walls so it's telling us the particular point we want the door to start from in a particular wall it will remain zero because door starts from the ground door starts from the ground it is not like window that has a seal height that has an height above the wall so door is um, a full opening of a wall that starts from the base that starts from the ground 
so at this point it will be zero you can see see our header value it should be zero and zero so um, over there is telling us different um, preview options you can see it in 3ds and um, different preview options this is what's happening over here so um they will come down to here which are which is the parameters of the door we are about to use remember that we have fixed the door width and height to be 900 by 2100 then the parameter it has to do with door size it's just repeated on what we did here. so you don't have a, you don't have much much thing to do on the door size so as well as the options you don't have anything to do with the options this is the door frame you don't have to have anything to do with the door frame the thickness is okay the style is okay so what actually you should just be bothered of especially in these parameters is um maybe the casing the casing if you don't want it to be both sides casing also has to do with or another name for the casing is the door is the wind door hood so if you don't want to be on both sides you can do it outside inside or you're off the casing so this is the door hood and the size and the the dimensions of the casing as well and then um, what actually very very important in this particular side is the material of the door you are using so you can actually make effect on your materials you can actually make effect on your materials you can change the material of whatever you're doing this is actually the frame material the outside frame material this is the inside frame material this is the leaf material outside you can see it over here explaining the materials you are using so this is also the glass material remember that the door is actually selected has a glass opening but instead you can come to this third setting which is the hinge door settings this is where you do the main setting that has to do with the door so at this particular point you can actually select a lot of doors you have the privilege of going around to pick a particular design that you like or that fits your your project so this was actually the setting that this one was actually the one that was selected earlier on so you can actually scroll through the 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 collections of different designs of your doors and pick a particular one why i'll be leaving i'll be, I'll be going with this one this happens this has to do with the handle handle style once you click here different handle style will come up so this handle style already is okay or i can change it to this then i go next so this particular point is okay it should be at 45 degrees the 2d opening should be 45 degrees and all the settings here are perfect you don't have much to change why here you can actually override model view options if i want to make it curve or straight then over here you can override model v options and this opening line tends to just tell you if you actually want this particular line that is showing the direction of the of the of the swing that that's showing the swing direction of the door to be visible or not so you can actually remove it to remove the swing direction line or you can leave it in your design so i'll actually leave it in mind sometimes i can also remove it so that's just actually what you have to do in your door settings and you move ahead and begin to place your doors so once i click ok i can now start placing my doors so once I bring it to my wall, this particular shape will come up or symbol will come up and I'll begin to place my doors. So I'm placing my doors now. I will actually like moving it to the wall so that the door can actually swing to the wall or lap at the wall to actually create some spaces in the room or in the spaces available. So I'm swinging it to the wall. You know, this is the master's bedroom and this is the madam's bedroom therefore there should be a door that should connect both of them and this area so this is should be a door here as well so we'll fix this door we are going to the next point you know the particular door we're fixing now is the door of 900 by 2100 millimeter so that's what we're fixing and also i wanted to take notes on how i'm swinging my door remember and watch carefully 
and I place my mouse on this point, my cursor on this point, and I click on it, this particular sign will show. And I will swing it to the direction. If I want my door to swing to this part, I will click here. But if I want my door to swing to this part, I will just click here. So I want my door to actually swing to this part. So you should take note of that as well. So we are almost done with the doors of 900 by 2100. So there should be a door here that, that can easily connect the dining to the kitchen. So I'm going to put this door over here. So right now I think we are good to go in the doors of 900 by 2100. So the next door I will put actually my the door of my toilet and bedroom and the WC over here. So I will just quick since I want the same height of my door to be at the same height of this particular one I just fixed. So I want my height of the of my toilet and bedroom door to, to still maintain 2100 width height. What I just want to change is just the width to reduce the 750 to reduce the 900 millimeter height width actually to around 750 millimeter width. So I just need to, and I, and I actually want the door to actually have the same, the same door design. If I actually want the door to actually have the same design, the same settings and everything, I just come, she just come over here and change it to 750. But if I actually want it to have different designs or material, I have to click back. To, I have to reference back to my door default settings so i will start going back to change some things to change some things actually so i'll start changing some settings and maybe i want my daughter to have a different design from the main one i can actually pick something different to use and then that is all just just to differentiate the door of the toilet from the door of the of the room so Remember, it's 750. So when you begin to swing it to the direction where you want your dog to face, and it's as easy as that. It's as easy as that. So I think you get this point. If you have, if you have any question, you write it down in the comment section and you will get the right answer if anything is not clear to you you want a more clearer video on this topic you comment on the, on the comment section and we'll produce a video just for you to learn so we are done with those of 750 by 2100 so the next door we are actually I actually want us to fix right now is this particular door so I want this particular door to be about 2100 also in height so the height should not change but the width should be about 1200 millimeter which is about 4 feet or 1.2 meters based on any dimensions measurements that is familiar with you so i want this particular door that will be here that will actually the main door or the main entrance door to the whole of this building to be 1.2 meters in width so i should have double leaf you have double leaf so i just have to go back to my door default settings to actually implement that in my design so this particular door has only a single leaf so i will have to pick a different door that has double leaf so i will scroll down so i come here i can see double leaf double door double door so i can see the door with double leaf so i will pick this one 
because he's double asymmetric. So since I'm going with a door that has a door of width of 1200 millimeter, so and it's going to have the, a double leaf, so I can actually make a leaf to be asymmetric to the other, which means it's not have the same width size. So I can make a leaf to be 900 and another and the other complete complementing leaf to be 300 millimeter so that's what i'm actually going to achieve right here with this door in the entrance so i will reduce this to one two it's based on your based on your design based on your choice you can do that and i'll come over here and do the necessary settings based on what i want pick the particular design or the particular style i want for my door and also handle no is that actually has none this handle is at none so you pick a handle that fits your your door and the positioning then you think that is all you just need to do and you move on with your with your, with your design and then place the door now this particular point once you actually pick the door to actually swing it what the direction you swing it to is where the longer leaf will fall so you can say i swing to the direction and the longer leaf will comes over to the direction but if i swing it to the direction this longer leaf will actually come back to the direction so i will now drag it and place it comfortable on the wall so i can actually drag this down to actually have a kind of familiarity with the former one so that's actually what I want in my design. So this particular, I want here to actually be a sliding door. I want here to be a sliding door. Yeah, the door that leads to the sitting room, the lounge of the of the residential apartment. So what I need to do, what I actually need to do, that is actually to go back to my door default setting and pick a sliding door that suits my taste. So these are sliding doors. I actually go. With, I don't want a door off that has an arch. So I will go with the flat top sliding doors and just pick one. This one is okay. So or maybe I want a double sliding door. You can you can actually see them there. So this particular one is okay. One five width is actually okay. I can reduce it to one two. And the two one height is actually perfect as well. So that is actually what I just need. I just check the settings if i actually need any settings i think it's just the settings are actually okay i want it to be plain without having any design of it and it should not have any handle or rather i can pick this handle i just go then i click ok then come over here and place my door so that is just as easy as it is so right now i've placed my doors in up position that suits my design so at this junction of this design i've actually achieved placing the doors every doors in this design so let's look at the 3d so this is actually the exterior view of the design so this is the door i put this is the exterior door this is the entrance door of the design so let's look at the, the door you can see so, okay, so, so this is the kitchen door you can see that the opening line is visible you can actually remove it if you want to and leave it if you also want to so right now we have achieved the we have achieved the step of putting the doors in our design so if you have a question you comment in the comment section if you want a new a video if you want a particular topic to be taught in the that you actually need to learn comment in the comment section as well see you